This is actually some of the best news I've read for a long, long, long time. And it's such a simple product that could completely change batteries, how they're used now, how long they last for, and how they're made. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you here. I was about to say Melbourne. I'm not in Melbourne. I'm in Brisbane in Australia. Just up here for my right, my son's racing. He races a BMX and he's really disappointed with how he went today. He went in a big championship and he was doing really well. And in his final heat, his final race, he he was pretty slow because um, he was super, super tired. The day went for about, I think it was about 10 hours, 10 hours. Insane. Anyway, there's another race on tomorrow. So he's got another chance. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed that tomorrow He's happy with how he goes. A recent breakthrough could double the life of high energy density EV batteries. Now, by the way, this sounds like when I first read this research, it sounded to me like they were just talking about NCA or NCM chemistry batteries, you know, lithium ternary batteries or high energy density batteries, not LFP batteries. But apparently this will actually work for LFP batteries and ternary batteries. In other words, this new product, which apparently is actually very cheap to use, could double the battery life of the entire current battery market. Yeah, this is the kind of technology that absolutely can change the world. Now, think about it, right? Currently, batteries have on average a life expectancy of around 15 years. That's what manufacturers say anyway. Not LFP, but all the batteries we use in the West, which mostly aren't LFP, and I'm talking about for cars here. I know we use LFP batteries for lots of other things, but for cars in the West, currently we don't really use LFP batteries. But the big drawback to this, using these high energy density batteries is what? Battery degradation. After a certain number of charging cycles, especially fast charging cycles, but after a certain number of charging cycles, we start to see significant battery degradation. What does that mean? Well, that means that eventually, the car's battery, which is by far the most expensive part of the car, isn't as good anymore, or certainly the range will drop significantly. Now, if you're buying a car with a range with between 200 and 500 kilometers, that's about the average, right? And your range drops significantly, that's a pretty big problem. That's like owning a mobile phone, right? And when the actual battery life has decreased by, say, around 50%, you want to get rid of the thing. It really annoys you. That's just a phone, right? It's more annoying in a car when you know you paid a lot of money for that car. Now, if you could say, pay the same amount for that car and the batteries would last twice as long and the range would stay close to its original capacity, a lot more people would want electric cars. But in addition to that, a lot of more people would be very, very grateful that their car would last a lot longer. Now, fortunately, this new technology doesn't look expensive. It looks very, very simple to deploy. This technique developed by Australian researchers as an extremely thin protective layer, just one atom thick, one atom that is incredibly thin on battery cathodes. And it could see lithium ion batteries with extremely high energy density become viable for use in electric vehicles. Currently, there are some batteries that are not used because their energy density degrades too quickly. They're really super high energy density. Now, this is apparently this new technology could enable their use because it will prevent significant degradation in these super high energy batteries. But the good thing is this tech isn't just for those particular type of batteries. EV batteries in use today generally give you between a 200 and 500 kilometer range, depending on the size of the battery and the car. That's real world range I'm talking about, by the way, not advertised range. And this is more than enough for most people to switch to EVs. But the cost of manufacture of these batteries, combined with the degradation of driving range over time, still has some people concerned. The Driven.io says that researchers from the University of Queensland said that these new findings will double the life of high energy density batteries to the point they become viable for use as they no longer will degrade within a few hundred cycles. The upshot of this research is that once commercialized, yes, once commercialized, I know, we could be seeing EVs with much longer driving range and batteries that also last a lot longer. So it's not just gonna be used for super high energy density batteries. It can be used for all batteries. The energy capacity of lithium ion batteries, particularly in those with chemistries that have a much higher energy density than ones used today in many electric cars, 
degraded over time because of the formation of lithium dendrites caused by the energy transfer when charging and discharging. In the new research outlined in a recent paper in Nature Communications, researchers described how adding a layer that is just one single atom wide significantly reduces the degradation caused at high voltage. So instead of lasting just a few hundred cycles for super, super high energy density batteries, these batteries using the one atom wide anti-corrosive layer can be discharged and charged more than 1,000 times, said Professor Lun Sao Wang, who leads the team at the School of Chemical Engineering and the Australian Institute for Bioengineering and Nanotechnology of the University of Queensland. Wang said, our process will increase the lifespan of batteries in many things from smartphones and laptops to power tools and electric cars. This new approach features a minimal protective coating at a scalable process paving the way for deployment of these abundant high voltage materials for next generation high energy batteries. Research conducted by the team found that after 1000 cycles, capacity remained above 77%. This is in ultra high energy density batteries. For context, according to a 2020 paper from the Journal of the Electrochemical Society, lithium ion phosphate batteries that avoid the use of rare earths like cobalt, now, these are the batteries you currently get when you buy a standard range Tesla Model 3, can cycle up to 4,000 times before their energy density goes below 80%. This is one of the key reasons why on this channel I keep saying to people, if you can get a car with LFP batteries, they will last way longer than the alternative. However, current LFP chemistries are much lower in energy density compared to nickel-based chemistries meaning EV makers must use larger and heavier batteries which contribute to poorer vehicle energy efficiency. Now, before I go on, I'm just going to explain to you that will change by the end of this year. There's a number of companies, in fact, four different big, large companies, some of the biggest companies in the world that make LFP batteries, which are significantly improving the energy density of their LFP batteries to the point they will be not far away, if not on par, with most lithium batteries that use rare earths such as cobalt, nickel, etc. However, Wang says this new technology could be used on higher energy density versions of LFP batteries, like the ones we're seeing come out by the end of this year, and apparently are already being produced in China, but just not mass manufactured yet. In a note to the Driven, Wang said, some advantages of the new material include cobalt-free and low-cost materials, high voltage of the single cell, and more than 1,000 cycle stability. And he also said that the new technology offers at least 20% more energy than the LFP batteries currently used by Tesla. In other words, this new tech will actually increase the energy density at the cell level. Now, Wang says he believes the team's new research could have a significant impact on sectors that rely on rechargeable batteries, such as in computing and transport. He said, we're confident the nanotechnology will have widespread applications across industry, including in consumer electronics, electric vehicles, and the energy storage sector. So this will be the kind of technology that could drastically change the industry. Why? It's cheap. It's easy to do. It's only one atom thick. Personally, do I think this is legit? Because we hear these kinds of stories often, don't we? I do. I think this is legit. This to me sounds like an incredible solution to a challenge that has plagued battery makers for decades. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Have a great day. Bye-bye.